This, if you ever write, as I said to you earlier, if you ever write your memoirs, yeah. this has got to be uh, one of your uh, chapter titles. Because this sentence, with you, which you've written down as a bullet point, uh, to remind you of the story, you've written down, my time as an unlicensed doctor. Very true, yes. It was good to This is Jam Hot. Good afternoon and welcome to Jam Radio with me, Douglas Ackerman. Me, Mike Loder. And myself, Rocky Webb. For today's Over a Pint. We're going to talk about awkward conversations. Regional dialects, perhaps. Have you ever wronged a friend? What is man code? What made us happy today? School stories. Things we didn't care about when we were children that we do now. Flirting and the rules of engagement. Father and mother figures. And are you on Google? Stupid laws. The essays versus exams debate. Near-death experiences. Superpowers. And if you had a theme song, what would it be? These are just a few of the topics we'll be talking about um, My today. third pick rock, Holy Fortune, which is in the 420 uh, race. Um, and that's, a, uh, uh, that's uh, got odds of 27 to 1. That's uh, quite large odds. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, this section's going to get worse. You put a pound on and you get 28 back. Yeah, but this horse has only got three legs. <laughs> 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 Definitely got to get <laughs> oh, mate. Well, it's actually remarkably good odds if the horse has only three legs. <laughs> Normally they put them down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this horse uh, <laughs> escaped from the glue factory. Which leg's it missing? Front or back? Um, front. Uh, That's better. This, this That's horse better. escaped from the glue so factory. It's a good, it's a, it's a straight running invention. It's, it's extraordinary it's, annoying. I think it depends on the song, really. No, no. You know what? What happened? What happened to obeying the rules? Have you got you got a, uh, an MP3 player or, or cassette player or CD player? You have your headphones and you listen to the music. It was it even used to be really annoying if you could hear hear the music coming out the headphones. And now it's fine to just play music from the phone, loudspeaker. Uh, and so the whole bus. The latest part of the Chav Revolution. The Chav Revolution is that the official title? Oh, oh, oh. Like? No, I've just coined it, and if it becomes popular, now patented. <laughs> <laughs> now, my lad, is this, why are you oh, doing? To mention the fact that um, I was standing with a friend. Uh, my girlfriend outside the library, uh, about to go in, and just having a polite conversation with my friend Helen, and, uh, and out of the sky, well, I mean, a lot of things might fall on you, I mean, I, I don't know, um, uh, uh, various things, <laughs> um, you might expect to be pooed on possibly by a bird, uh, uh, I was almost hit by a dead bird, a dead pigeon almost killed me. I suppose reindeer would just fly away. Reindeer they? live in huge herds of up to like twenty thousand in in um, in eastern north. You make that area. number up? No, no, I read it about the where uh, in one of my books. It's about <laughs> what is your book about this what book. This, what was it on of the Soviet Union? This is this, 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 this race called who the who counted, who, who, counted, who counted them all what in the Soviet Union? Who, who was paid enough to go and count twenty thousand? Uh, it was wasteful. made up. It was a children's no, listen, novel listen, about Santa Claus. Listen, He's got twenty thousand of them. Animals of Farthingwood. No, there's this race called the Chukchi. And what? Uh, what? Chu Chi. And um, and they this race they live in northeastern Siberia in the Arctic Circle, and they farm like reindeer. For all twenty thousand. Yeah, you can. Well, you can no, farm well, reindeer. I'm obviously joking. I never boxed Ricky Hatton. But um, that's what you would lose. <laughs> well, have you seen yourself? <laughs> Hey! Yeah. No, 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 because uh, I've got like. I don't think. I don't, think there's a, I, don't know, I don't know if there's a weight class that exists that you would, <laughs> yeah, exactly. you would fit into. <laughs> Further weight? Further weight or no uh, weight? Uh, <laughs> yeah, a yeah, paper weight, maybe. So let's move this conversation away from one of the things I don't like talking about. <laughs> yeah. um, um, I you. barely see my uncle. He's been benevolent like or tolerant, as far as I'm aware. Who's that? It's Ma- Matthew Revel. Oh, oh Matthew. hello. From down south. All right, and uh, what, what have you what have you uh, uh, called in for? Well, I've just realised I'm the worst prank caller ever because I told you who I am. <laughs> <laughs> There's some rain oh, in the northwest, no. sunny elsewhere. Some cloud, um, generally fine and warm, uh, in Wales and England. That is <laughs> um, damp in Cumbria. That's where I'm from. Damp, damp. Uh, what do you mean damp? It's just. G- gen- generally, someone left damp. the hose on <laughs> last night. <laughs> yeah, little bit, uh, little bit. Um, moist, moist. Thank you. Well, um, in, in what? In what? How can the weather just be? Today the weather is damp. Well, I, uh, that, uh, that's what you describe a wall. Well, <laughs> <laughs> my home county at the moment is a little bit damp, like a wall. But so that's soggy a little bit, you know. <laughs> yeah, somewhat saturated. How, how does how does like what, bad insulation? What does the sky look like when the sky is damp? Ooh, grey. 
Overcast. 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 <laughs> what? What? Shit. What? Uh, the cruelty of locking our um, rather old uh, cookery teacher in her larder. We did that. <laughs> Not in the larder. <laughs> in the, uh, after this happened numerous times, she then had to be given, <laughs> given a mobile phone so she could <laughs> ring for help. But because she was phobic. Don't hear from New Year's. Um, so we, we we went went around some pubs um, with our friends. My friends it was great New Year's. One of my favourite New Year's actually. If not my favourite, it was different. And uh, yeah, so uh, New Year's went outside, stood on some um, picnic benches, and uh, yeah, so we're on these picnic benches. Um, uh, outside the pub, everyone's on them. We're like, wait, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But the one, she turns to me out of the blue and says. I love you. Oh, this is what we do to that. That's a, you know, that's uh, it's quite shocking, one might say. And you, uh, uh, what was your reaction to that? One? I almost fell off the bench. Finish off with Britney Spears. Wait, can I say goodbye if we start announcing the next <laughs> song? I have a part of this show too. Sorry, Rocky. That's right. That's and right. you just managed to absolutely deafen me on the headphones there, Rocky. Wow, you've upset me a lot. Well, that was quite uh, quite well delivered today, Rocky. I'm I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Very theatrical. This is jam. This is jam. This is jam hot.